Good morning, Africa, and welcome to the news update on African Free Press Television. My name is Aritz Afana. Police in neighboring Niger Republic have arrested a Nigerian carrying 4.6 euros, equivalent of 1.05 billion naira in cash. The man was arrested at the Diori Hamani Airport in Niamey, capital of Niger, en route to Dubai. The Nigerian police say they suspect the man was fleeing with the money in order to avoid being caught up in anti-corruption activities in Nigeria. They also expressed worry that there had been an upsurge in the number of Nigerians trafficking huge sums of money in cash through the neighboring country with the aid of accomplices within Niger Republic. Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, has set up a task force to investigate eight former governors following petitions written against the former governors. Those to be investigated include Alaji Rabiu Kwankwaso of Kano State, Chief Rotimi Amechi of Rivers, Alaji Ibrahim Shema of Kasina, Sullivan Chime of Enugu State, Raji Fashula of Lagos State, Gatwila Pabi of Akwaibum State, Martin Elechi of Eboni State, and Alaji Sule Lamido of Jigawa State. Boko Haram insurgents have attacked two remote Barno villages of Kolori and Bana Imam on horseback, killing about 26 people and injuring six. A leader of the youth vigilante group in Butte Town who spoke to reporters yesterday said the attacks on the villages in Dambwa local government area was on Monday night. It is believed that 18 persons were killed in Kolori while eight were killed in Bana Imam village. More than 12 people were said to have been injured. Dambwa local government area has been frequently attacked by the insurgents who are held inside the Sambisa forest, mainly because it shares border with the forest. Nigeria has concluded plans to export about 68 cargoes, equivalent of 2.04 million barrels per day of crude oil in October, the highest level this year. Meanwhile, Brent crude, which is the benchmark for Nigeria's blend prices, went up from the $49.20 per barrel it, it recorded on Tuesday to $50.31 per barrel at midday yesterday. Senate President Bukola Saraki yesterday urged the international community to partner Nigeria to defeat Boko Haram insurgency in the northeastern part of the country. Saraki made the call while delivering his keynote address at the ongoing Fourth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament, organized by the Interparliamentary Union at the United Nations headquarters in New York. He noted that the menace of insurgency and all forms of brutality being visited on innocent citizens by terrorists across the world required international collaboration to curtail as it posed great threat to global peace and democracy. Former Congolese rebel leader Bosco Ntagana has pleaded not guilty to all charges at the start of his war crimes trial at the International Criminal Court at The Hague. The 18 charges include murder, rape and recruitment of child soldiers. Evidence has been gathered for more than 2,000 alleged victims, including former child soldiers. Nicknamed the Terminator, General Ntagana's trial is the biggest and most complex case in the ICC's history. The 41-year-old is accused of killing at least 800 civilians during separate attacks on a number of villages between 2002 and 2003. He is also accused of raping girl soldiers and keeping them as sex slaves. He fought for different rebel groups as well as the Democratic Republic of Congo's army. In 2013, General Ntagana handed himself in at the U.S. Embassy in the Rwandan capital, Kigali, having avoided capture for seven years after the ICC first issued warrants for his arrest. Bosco Ntagana was part of the UCP rebel group led by Thomas Lubanga, who in 2014 became the first person to be convicted by the ICC. An arrest warrant has been issued against Guatemala's president, Otto Perez Molina. On Tuesday, all members of Congress present at the vote, including members of the president's own party, endorsed the move to strip the president of his immunity from prosecution amidst corruption allegations. A previous vote to remove his immunity failed last month. Prosecutors accused the president of masterminding a scheme to defraud the customs service of millions of dollars, allegations he denies. The president, whose term runs out in January 2016, has been barred from leaving the country and will be summoned to appear before a court. The detention order was signed by George Miguel Angel Galvas. 
The main railway station in the Hungarian capital, Budapest, has opened its doors to hundreds of migrants after a two-day standoff. But a public announcement said international trains to Western Europe were suspended indefinitely. The migrant stock at Budapest Galaxy Station were prevented from boarding trains on Tuesday and Wednesday. Some were involved in scuffles with police. They had bought tickets after Hungary briefly appeared to abandon efforts to register migrants, allowing huge numbers to board trains to Vienna and southern Germany. It is not immediately clear why authorities decided to let the migrants enter the station this morning. The number of migrants entering Europe has reached record levels, with 107,500 arriving in July only. Germany expects to take in 800,000 migrants this year, four times last year's total. The surge in numbers has created tension and disagreement over EU's migration policy. On Wednesday, Germany, Italy and France called for fair distribution of refugees throughout the EU. EU Interior and Justice Ministers will meet in Brussels on 14 September to address the crisis. For more news, you can visit our website www.africanfreepress.com. Like African Free Press on Facebook and remember to follow at African Free Press on Twitter. My name is Arite Farulat and enjoy the rest of our programs. Good morning, Africa.